Hey guys, welcome to day 155 of my carnivore journey. And guys, let me tell you, I'm excited because actually I just got done wrapping up with Dave Mack. So if you guys follow his channel, uh, No Carb Life, uh, I will provide a link down below. If you're not subscribed to him, go subscribe to him. He has been spending a lot of time uh, recording a ton of people's testimonials. Uh, of course, I was able to get on there, talk about my testimonial, uh, which, of course, a lot of you already know. But if you don't know my full story behind everything, go check it out. He's going to get it posted soon. I don't know when, but keep an eye out um, for it. Um, and uh, I did have a chance to, to talk about the website, allcarnivoreinfo.com. Um, I hope that his viewers also receive that well. I really hope so. Um, I have a lot of respect for Dave Mack, you know, with what he's gone through, but also the fact that he's really taken the time out to listen to everybody's testimonials and, and to put those out there using his platform for, for that. And so um, I love that. I think that's great. And it just helps us as a, as a community. So the more people see, and even for ourselves, because we still need reassurance, right? We still need reassurance. So um, today I had a couple hot dogs for an early kind of, it was almost kind of a brunch. It was very early, like 11 o'clock. Um, a couple beef hot dogs. I don't know. I just felt like it. And then, um, and then a little later, about two, three o'clock, I had a, a couple small, like they were like about this long, uh, two of those like meat sticks with uh, a small bag, like a two ounce bag of um, pork rinds. Um, I had that. And then for dinner, I had two Chuck Eye steaks right here. So a total of a pound. I did not eat the full pound, um, probably left a couple ounces, probably had about 12 ounces, but Chuck Eye steak, I haven't been able to find it. And then the butcher came out um, from behind the counter and I was over like in the, 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 you know, the other section, not at the butcher thing, but like in the, the, where you buy the prepackaged like ground beef and, you know, different steaks that they wrap up in the cellophane, you know what I mean? So he came out from there and he came around and he said, you know, hey, are you looking for something? I said, well, I'm a carnivore. I said, I'm usually I look for things like and he showed me the chuck roast. So, guys, I got a like two and a half pound chuck roast. I got a pound chuck eye steak and like a pound chuck steak. And I got all of that for like twenty eight bucks. So here's a picture of the haul. So there you go. That was my, and I was pretty happy with that because I'm going to get at least um, four dinners out of that plus some broth. Like, so the last, the leftover two ounces or whatever of like fat and gristle and just like stuff from the chuck eye that I just didn't feel like eating. I have it in a saucepan with a couple of cups of water and I'm slow cooking it. I'm sort of making a broth, like a beef broth, I guess. I don't know. I'm just doing it to, to see if I can just boil the meat and flavor out of it. Like I said, I'm just trying to make a little bit of beef broth. Um, I just, and I threw some butter in there. So that's about it. So I don't know. I just thought like, you know, I don't want to just throw away the scraps and I don't have my dog. I don't have my puppy here yet. So, um, so I, I don't want to waste it. So I'm just making it into like a, a beef broth type of situation. Um, uh, but yeah, I mean, other than that, like I had all that today, feel really solid, feel good. Today was a great day when it comes to, I did use the bathroom this morning. Um, it was normal again, no surprises. Um, and uh, let's see. Oh, I was just like really tired last night. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'm i not saying like I'm not trying to say there was a bad thing involved. I just was like really tired. It was a Sunday night. And normally, even though the next day is a work day, I still like to stay up on Sundays 
um, till at least 2.30, 3 a.m. normally, because that's about the time I'd go to bed, you know, normally. But I was so tired last night. I went to bed at 11 p.m. and I just slept, you know, and I slept pretty good. And, you know, I guess I just, my body was like, hey, dude, you just need to catch up a little bit on sleep tonight. So I did, you know, I just listened to my body. <laughs> and that's the big thing is with carnivore, listen to your body, listen to your body. Um, but guys, I appreciate each and every one of you. I really do. I know I say that a lot and it, it may seem corny at times, but I was even bragging about you guys on the show. Um, I was talking about how, you know, you guys have shared your inspirations with me and you guys have shared how I inspire you. And, and I've shared how that keeps me going. It keeps me honest. It keeps me on the straight path of, of carnivore. So and for that, I really do appreciate it. Like I said, there's a couple times I think that I probably could have strayed, but but you guys really kept me focused. I felt like I I didn't want to disappoint you guys, and I still don't. Um, so that's another reason why I keep doing this daily. <laughs> so I still try to hold myself accountable. But but honestly, it's it's not a struggle. Like it's not like it was in the first few months, you know. After those first few months, it's not hard to say no to a lot of the foods. Again, occasionally there's some deep-seated programming that will kick in and I'll just have these random thoughts because they're like they're just things that are like in your head and they're just like seeds planted from a long time ago and every once in a while the right conditions come along and boom that seed germinates. And that's what happens. So like Again, I walk by, all of a sudden they'll have like their Easter egg stuff or whatever, like I was telling you guys before. So like I'll see Cadbury eggs. And I was like, oh, and that used to be a signal whenever I'd see Cadbury eggs, I'm like, oh, Easter's coming. And oh, I love Cadbury eggs. You got to put some in the fridge. I love them cold. All those flags would pop up. Well, again, now we got summertime coming and now they're starting to show different things. Thank God we're kind of getting into like a meat barbecue season coming up. That's always helpful. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, but uh, yeah, like the closer we get to like Memorial Day and stuff, you know, when everybody's going to be cooking out, they're going to show hot dogs and hamburgers. And hey, that's right up Carnivore's Alley at least, right? So I'm excited for that at least. But but I'm just saying like as we go through and or sometimes things will go on sale and uh, so they'll put, you know, cookies out or, you know, certain things. And like I said, they're just triggers like, oh, that's on sale. Wait, I don't need that. <laughs> it's just that instant deep-seated triggers. So just fight those. They're not hard fights nowadays. And I love being on carnivore. I really do, guys. It's it's something I never thought I would hear myself say or I never really thought I could. And now, like I said, after five months, it's like I'm, I'm good with it. And I feel so much better. Anyways, I can't wait. Um, still haven't been exercising, still losing weight. We'll see how things go. I've kind of increased a little more calorie take in, in the last, um, since I weighed in, just to kind of see what happens. Some of you thought that I might be over or under eating. So I have been taking on a little more food, if you've noticed. Um, but it's hard because I'm, my body is not really telling me it needs to eat sometimes. So I'm, I'm, I'm really conflicted. I really want to listen to my body, but I'm also trying to get a, a few extra calories in there, a few extra hundred, a couple hundred calories just to kind of see if that actually helps or if it's going to slow me down at all or what. I have no idea. But anyways, guys, um, I love you and I will see you tomorrow in day 156. Bye.